An open door always symbolizes freedom and opportunity. Open doors are exciting. We don't know what we'll find on the other side. Open doors also represent infinity. And we can see this in the quote from William Blake. If the doors of perception were cleansed, everything would appear to man as it is, infinite. Back in the 60s, a musical group was formed, taking their name from the quote and proving they were ahead of their time with their compositions, thinking and lyrics. That group was The Doors, led by the late great Jim Morrison. 1967 saw the summer of love with the young generation of that time advocating for freedom, peace and of course love. People wanted to be heard, they wanted to celebrate their individualism and they wanted to protest about the injustices that they saw in the world. Drafts were dodged, bright colours were worn, flowers and rainbows were in abundance and hallucinogens were taken to expand minds. People were rebelling against the system, they were dropping out of society and they were doing things their way. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Strange how history seems to repeat itself. Aldous Huxley wrote a biography called The Doors of Perception. The idea was downloaded to him whilst using mescaline, a powerful cleanser used in ceremonies by shamans in North American ancient wisdom for entering a trance in order to heal the entire tribe. Huxley also wrote the acclaimed and perhaps prophetic novel Brave New World, which includes the quotes, people will come to love their oppression to adore the technologies that undo their capacities to think. And also, medical science has made such tremendous progress that there is hardly a healthy human left. He also said, there is only one corner of the universe you can be sure of improving, and that is your own self. He also proved to be a great thinker ahead of his time. Jack Kerouac wrote on the road during the 1940s based on his travels across the United States in an exploratory of self and to find the goodness in man. It wasn't published until 1957 and didn't receive the acclaim it deserved until the beatnik generation, as they were known as, realised its worth and appeal. During the summer of love, another great novel came to attention, The Teachings of Don Juan by Carlos Castaneda. In the book, he describes his journey into shamanism whilst under apprenticeship for a yaki way of knowledge using ancient wisdom. All the aforementioned books were read and studied by Jim Morrison, and it's through him that many others found the knowledge and wisdom contained in those books, myself included. I truly thank the universe for sending Jim Morrison. Like many old and wise souls, he sometimes found his life a challenge but for all those of a rebellious nature, he was inspiring and truly a talent before his time. May his spirit live on forever. <laughs>